Travelers arriving from Paris and Brussels to Dulles International said they went through as many as three security checks before they got on the plane, including pat-downs of every single passenger. They had to check us one by one, basically physically and our luggage, our hand-on luggage. After we had gone through security, we were boarding our plane and right before boarding they had checked everybody's bags and gone through everything twice. Passengers from India said the checks were also more thorough than usual. They opened the containers uh, of stuff we had, like lotions and stuff like that, and they took away some of the stuff too. The changes follow a TSA directive asking international airports and airlines to increase passenger checks and asking passengers to put away personal items during the last part of the flight. Uh, I had a blanket on me, they took it away and the pillow and everything, so nothing could be on me. International airlines say they've been asked to do even more, like limiting passengers to just one piece of carry-on luggage and requiring passengers to stay in their seats during the last hour of the flight. For those who'd seen the headlines, the measures were reassuring. Edie Schaefer and her grandchildren flew in from the Cayman Islands. Outside, before you got on the plane, they had another security point where they checked the bags, had someone check, check me bodily, you know, the whole works. Domestic travelers also noticed TSA agents giving more attention to detail. There was a little more checking going on. Uh, we noticed that the security seemed to look at our IDs a little better. They were very serious about their jobs today. Now, just to add to the delays, we've got an entirely unrelated development here at National Airport. As you can see, the airport is running on emergency power. A water main break has flooded the lower level with up to a foot of water and shut off one of the wings servicing U.S. Airways. That has meant that U.S. Airways has had to cancel all the outgoing flights tonight. And it has told the passengers that because this was an airport problem, not an airline problem, it's not U.S. Airways' responsibility to find them a place to stay tonight, though they are trying to find the passengers another way to get to wherever they were going. Jeff? All right, Kimberly Dozier at Reagan National. Kimberly, thank you.